There are many different sources of energy on Earth, such as the sun, running water, and wind. In this video, you're going to find out some sources of energy and their uses. So, stay tuned! Hi, hi, hi! Hello, kids! How are you doing? I hope everyone is happy and excited to learn science today. Today, we're going to discuss some sources of energy and their uses. However, before we start, let's pray first. Let's pray together. Amen. Sources of energy are divided into two groups, renewable and non-renewable sources. Well, I think you know what renewable and non-renewable means, don't you? Renewable sources of energy include the sun, wind, running water, geothermal energy, and biomass energy. Meanwhile, non-renewable sources of energy include oil, coal, atom, and natural gas. Alright, let's discuss them one by one starting from the renewable sources of energy. Are you ready? Good! Now zoom in! The sun is our main source of energy. Most of the energy we use comes from the sun. Without the sun, all living things cannot survive. Energy from the sun is also called solar energy. Solar energy consists of both heat and light energy. Plants use light energy from the sun to make food. The energy is converted to chemical potential energy in the food made by plants. Meanwhile, solar cells and solar panels are used to collect light energy from the sun. This light energy is converted to electrical energy, which is used to power our electrical devices. Wind has kinetic energy. Windmills and wind turbines use the energy from the wind. Windmills convert the kinetic energy of wind to kinetic energy in the gear system. This kinetic energy is used to turn the gears to green grain. Look at the picture. Meanwhile, wind turbines convert the kinetic energy of wind to electrical energy. The wind causes the blades of the wind turbine to spin and the generator converts the kinetic energy of the blades to electrical energy. Running water in rivers, streams, and waterfalls is a source of energy. A dam is built across the river or reservoir. A hydroelectric power station makes use of a dam to hold back water so that it can be collected at great heights. The large store of water has a great amount of gravitational potential energy. When the dam is opened, the water rushes down and the gravitational potential energy of the water is converted to kinetic energy. The kinetic energy of the running water turns the turbine. Then, when the turbine spins, the generator generates electrical energy. Electrical energy is obtained from running water is known as hydroelectric energy. Geothermal energy is heat that comes from within the earth. It is one of few types of energy on the earth that does not come from the sun. When rainwater or melted snow seeps into crack on the earth's surface, 
it can meet the trapped heat and rise up as fountains of boiling water and steam. These are known as geysers or hot springs. Geothermal power stations tap the earth's heat by pumping cold water deep underground. The water is heated by the earth's geothermal energy and returns to the surface as hot water and steam. The kinetic energy of the steam is used to generate electricity, while the hot water can be pumped to building nearby. Biofuels are made from living matter such as sugarcane and corn. Like fossil fuels, biofuels has chemical potential energy, which can be converted to heat energy when burned. Biofuels such as biodiesels can perform the same functions as petrol or diesel made from fossil fuels. However, they give out less carbon dioxide when they are burned and release less harmful substances into the air. Unlike fossil fuels, biofuels can be replenished and will not run out. Alright, how was the explanation? I hope you can understand it very well. Hopefully, by learning science today, you understand the renewable sources of energy on Earth. Now it's trivia time. Answer the questions in complete sentences. Write your answers and post them on the answer column in the Google Classroom. Number one. Write the energy conversion that occur in the wind turbine. Number two. Write the energy conversion that occur in the hydroelectric power station. Number three, what is the function of solar cells and solar panels? Number four, how are sugarcane and corn made into biofuels? All right, I'll be waiting for your answers. All right, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next session with a discussion about non-renewable energy sources on Earth. Moreover, I will see you in the Zoom meeting to discuss the activity book. Thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay at home. Remember the three W's? Wash your hand often. Wear your mask. Watch your distance from others. See you next week. And bye-bye.